Hello, welcome. So I wanted to take a moment to explain the PowerPoint group assignment. And so there's to cover any sort of potential misunderstandings or any confusion. So hopefully you're seeing on your screen, I'm sharing what should be your course shell, right? And if you go in your modules, you'll see right under our textbook section, PowerPoint assignment. Now, who, now which group you belong to, uh, how do you identify that? If you just go to group list and schedule, you'll see that there's a video that's, that shows you, just click accept, that's fine. Here's a tutorial video that shows you how to work with groups. So since I've already organized the class into groups, and you can see that if you go to people, and then if you go to groups tab on the top here, you'll see a breakdown of everybody who's in your group for each group. So all you have to do is go to, to this page here, identify which group you're in, or you should be also able to identify automatically because since I, like I said, put you in groups already, you should have a group tab. I don't, since I don't belong to a group, but you should have a group tab where automatically your group members are part of that shell. So that should pop up. And what that looks like, you simply have to look at the video and see where you can identify your group and where you can work together. So in that shell, you should be able to share files, uh, have conversations, things like that. So it's your own little group workspace so you can develop your presentation. Now, which day you present? It's simply here on the, on the calendar under important dates. So we're not starting our presentations until the fourth week. So here on the fourth week where we talk about uh, higher education and ethics and policy, then we kind of really get into the book where we start really getting into the subject matter. The first presentation group, they're going to be uh, working on that in the meantime. And on Saturday, February 11th, they're going to submit their uh, presentation, and that has to be done before 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So it's simply right there. And the rest goes for all the other groups. So the following group, group two, they'll submit it on February 18th at 5 p.m. and so on. So that's all you simply have to look for to identify who's in your group and what day you're going to be uh, presenting. And what topic is simply that reading for that week. So going back to the first example in week four, the reading is going to be Janet Sakuyu, and that's going to be in page 77 to, uh, sorry, 577 to 593 in the textbook. And you simply have to create a presentation on that particular reading. So whatever reading we're doing that week is the, what you should be presenting on. Now, how do you do a presentation, right? So let's go back. Excuse me for a moment, I have two screens on, we come back and forth. If you go back to our modules, you'll see group PowerPoint presentation, and that's right under the instructions and submit here section. So click on that. And then I have a breakdown of what the assignment will be. So with your group, and we're a small class, so it, all, it might be only one other person. So you're in a group, you're going to create a narrated PowerPoint of that particular reading for that week. And so each group is only responsible for one presentation for one week. You don't have to do every single uh, a presentation for every single chapter, just for that chapter for that week. Now, if you've never made a narrated PowerPoint presentation, I have a great video here. It's very short, concise, and it'll explain in very simple terms how to make a narrated PowerPoint. Now, you don't have to show your face necessarily. I'm not requiring that. I know some people prefer not to, but you 
do have to turn on your microphone and you do have to narrate the presentation as if you were giving the presentation in class. So it's up to you if you want to show yourself on, on camera or not, but the narration is required for the site. So how you're gonna do that, you don't need any sort of extra software other than PowerPoint. PowerPoint already comes with a narration recording uh, feature on it. So go through that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, at the end of the recording and you push stop, you can save it as an MP4 video file. And that's what you'll be submitting, uh, uploading onto the assignment, as well as a copy, I think, of the PowerPoint in its regular format. So just two copies, one of the PowerPoint and one of the video. You'll be uploading to the, to the assignment section. Now, make sure that you save your assignments in the following format. So who I know uh, belongs to this group and, and what they're presenting, just like simply identified by your group number. So you'll see here, it says, uh, make sure the name and save this, the assignment in the following way. Group, whatever group you are, right? Uh, let's say group one. So group underscore one, that would, PPT is the PowerPoint uh, file and group one, MP4 is the is the video file. And so what kind of flow, just to give you an idea of what kind of presentation I'm looking for, uh, I've included a former student presentation in another class. So it's not exactly the same, but it gives you an idea of what kind of presentation you should go for. Uh, are you being clear in your presentation? Is it engaging? You know, important things like that. But the main checklist is that you make sure to explain the main topic. So what is this article about? What is this chapter about? What's the main idea of this chapter? And then you want to summarize the main points discussed in the text. So you don't have to go through every single detail of the text, but what were the key points to pay attention to? What was the philosopher's argument, what, how do they try to prove their point? So make sure you're identifying those elements. And then you're gonna choose a number of questions to respond to in the PowerPoint. So for example, some of our readings from the textbook include comprehension questions and discussion questions. So you're going to, of course, work on those ahead of time when you're putting together your presentation, and then you're gonna present the questions and answers in your presentation. Now, the comprehension questions, you can choose any three of the comprehension questions to answer. There's usually around five. It's not always the same. Sometimes there's four, sometimes there's just three, but uh, if there's more than three, you can just choose any of the three that you decide you want to answer as a group. Plus, there will be a set of discussion questions as well available at the end of the chapter. So you're only required to answer two of those discussion questions. There may be more, but you can choose any two. So together you should have around five questions that you put forth and respond to. Now, if it's a PDF, uh, because some readings I've chosen are not in the book, but I thought they were excellent readings, There'll be a number of questions at the end, usually again around five. And so you're just gonna simply ask, uh, answer any five of those questions at the end of the chapter. Uh, they could be identified as discussion questions or such, but uh, you just have to answer any five of those. And then along the way, as you're presenting, make sure you, you're explaining any possible technical terms that come up. So philosophers, we like to use a lot of big words. Make sure if, you run into that situation that in the paper they said something like epistemology or practical ethics. What does that mean? Make sure you're defining those terms along in your presentation as you're explaining. So at the end, I'll base the score up a 40 point scale. I'll be looking at your overall 
uh, ability to answer all the questions and also any sort of grammatical errors or anything like that. So make sure you proofread your presentations, make sure you're identifying the important elements. Uh, don't simply just submit it in a, in a quick manner because all of us will might miss something, right? So take, make time to take a look. Also check each other's work, right? So you're working together. That's what you're there for, to help each other out. Uh, ask your partner, you know, hey, does this make sense? Uh, do you see any uh, grammatical errors in my part of the presentation or something like that? Make sure you're doing that. And then that's simply it, then you'll submit it uh, on that due date. So on that particular Saturday that of that week where your presentation is due, and you'll do so uh, before 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Now there's one other element to this to this section that I want to go back to. So let's go back to the module. And you'll also see the PowerPoint report instructions. Now this is the second element to this whole uh, group assignment idea. So one grade is the presentation itself. Another grade is going to be submitting a report along with the presentation. So each person is responsible for submitting the report. It's fine as a group presentation if one person submits on behalf of everybody else, the group presentations, it's a group assignment. However, for the report, every individual student must submit their own report. Now, what does that include or constitute? Simply go to the section where it says download a copy here. And there's an explanation of what you're going to do. Uh, in very short terms, you're going to fill out a template of a a group, a group report that I've provided where you're going to answer each section and sign off on that. So if I open up a copy here to show you what it looks like, you're simply going to type in. You don't have to print this out necessarily. You can just simply uh, download it as a Word file. You're just going to type in your, your group number. So group one here on the top, the date that you're submitting it, your name, the subject, so whatever chapter or whatever reading, whatever the article is called, the title, uh, its due date, and then the activities completed. Those are activities that you and your group came together to uh, negotiate amongst your group members. So uh, we're supposed to create the PowerPoint. We're supposed to uh, create a video narration along with that. All those things you can list under activities completed, things that you got done. And of course, you had to delegate the responsibilities amongst your group members. And that's you can put under tasks. So you can say, well, this person was responsible for slides one through five and put the group member's name and when they were supposed to get that due. So this also helps you along the way of keeping track and making sure everybody's working on schedule. So let's say it's due within a week. Well, make sure that you delegate these tasks a week ahead, right? So right away, who's responsible for what section and what responsibility. So you can create due dates prior to the due date of the entire assignment so you can have time to put all that together. So let's say uh, slides one through five out of 10 slides, uh, you delegated that responsibility to your partner. Uh, they should get that in, let's say Wednesday uh, before the Saturday that it's due. That should be, the date should be put there. They should be working on that and you should expect that they submit it by that date. If there's any issues that come up, so let's say your partner didn't submit it by that date, or they just failed to respond to any of your messages, which has happened in the past, of course, and I've taught this class many times to know that that's a real possibility. Make sure you identify those issues in the issue section. 
let me know what's going on. You know, um, prior to the due date, please reach out to me. Uh, if you feel like the group is not working together, or if things are not going smoothly, please reach out to me and we'll try to work together and, and try to get that going. But if issues persist, and let's say the person just has never responded to any of your emails or any of your messages, then uh, please let me know in the issue section. And at the very end, you're welcome to provide team comments and contributions. So uh, not just the, you know, the negative part, maybe what people weren't able to accomplish, but also congratulate your team members, show that you're uh, appreciative of your team members' efforts. So, you know, so-and-so did a really good job on this and I really enjoyed working with it. You can also include uh, those type of elements too into your report. So you're gonna download this uh, work file, you're gonna fill that out, and then you're going to save that in your own files. And then when you're ready, you can simply submit it here on Canvas. If you go back, so at the very bottom it says PowerPoint report 10% of your grade. So submit report here. You can simply go there and upload the the file. So that's basically the group uh, assignment for the semester. And the reason behind this, I want to give you an overall picture, is that a lot of students in the past, when I first, especially when I first started teaching, I would request that I provide PowerPoints for everything. You know, uh, that might seem great, yet, you know, power, taking somebody else's PowerPoint is kind of like taking somebody else's notes. And they might be somewhat helpful, but it's probably much better you take your own notes because the way you explain something, the way you kind of uh, process information might be really different from some, somebody else. And so I want to give you that chance to be able to create your own uh, PowerPoint. And it, and it turns out you remember things much better when you do so because it was your project. But I will also provide the ability for you to, to learn from each other as well. So once your report is done and submitted correctly, I'll provide a copy within Canvas here so that your peers can also view that presentation and they can, you know, learn from that as well. So I want to provide a group assignment. I know people don't care for group assignment, but it is a, it is a necessary evil, and especially with ethics, which we're talking about in this class. You know, learning from each other, learning to work with each other is important parts of ethics. So this is the reasoning behind uh, this assignment. And if you have any further questions or anything like that, please reach out to me, let me know way beforehand. Uh, again, if you're partners are not responding to your messages or or your attempts to reach out to them, please let me know. We'll find out what's going on. Uh, but don't wait till the last minute afterwards. Um, and if anything transpires, please make sure you put that in the report because I will be considering that when I grade the presentations as well. If I see overwhelmingly that someone had not contributed, they had not reached out, I will consider that that might affect their grade uh, individually as the, the regards to the assignment. So maybe the other group members who did put effort will get credit and the person was identified as not giving any effort, they will not receive credit. So please consider, I do take those reports very seriously into consideration when I grade. So I hope you have a really great rest of the semester and hope to see some really great presentations.